explain it to because they're saying that the C hip is the MOTB, the fulfillment of Revelation 13. But he said you could still go into the kingdom of heaven if you repent. Let's listen again. You heard what he said. I'm not putting words in their mouth. I'm letting them speak. You see a guy speaking. I'm not playing with the video. So you get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? Do you think? Based upon what he says, he knows what the MOTB is, right? He's not. He didn't say it was Christianity. He didn't say it's sin. He said, if you get the MOT, can you still enter the kingdom of heaven? He says, no. He said, but if you repent, you can. Well, let it play a couple times. And you, the leadership of the IUIC, you have a lot explaining to do. If you keep teaching this, the most high is going to destroy you guys. The lungs to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who we will peace, blessings, and citations goes to the hopeful let that scatter abroad. To the brothers out there pushing this truth with their righteousness and sincerity, and to the alcohol, the fiestas, the dead and listen and learning to you, I say shalom. Alright, coming back at you in another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Lord willing to edify and in the feet the lands of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, through the spirit of Rakaka Dasha, praise, and let's be edifying and straight to the point. Alright, you heard it, man. Alright. <laughs> See, IUIC is now admitting that the MOTB is what Elder Apostle Har and the Elders and the Apostles have been saying for 30 plus years. But, one problem. they saying, you know, they say if you get it, you can repent and still enter into the kingdom of heaven. And that is the opposite of that, man. Okay? They're still going off, man. Okay? They're admitting it now that the CH. IP is the MOTB, man. But they saying if you take it, you can still enter into the kingdom of heaven. You can repent. And the Bible tells you <laughs> there's no repentance if you take this, man. Okay? Revelation chapter 14, verses 9 and 10 prove the opposite. If you take this digital device, all right, you may Esau it them your God, man. You can't repent. Okay? They're going off, and they're going to get a lot of people destroyed, man. Like Elder Apostle Tar said, all right? If they don't repent and tell the people, hey, tell your congregation the truth, man, you're going to get destroyed, man, okay? But, hey, we're the only ones over here that's going to tell you the truth, man, all right? They're telling you, <laughs> IUIC is telling you one truth, but then they're going to go turn around and tell you a lie at the same time, man, that if you... If you take it, well, you can repent. No. No, you can't, man. If you take this digital device into your arms, your leg, whatever the case may be, okay? Your forehead, your hand, your left hand, your right hand, no matter what. You are going to die, point, blank, period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, man. You are going to be put to death. You're going to be left here to burn. And as a matter of fact... Let's get a scripture, man. I'm not going to ramble too much, all right? Because I got a couple of articles I want to show, man, okay? All right? So let's get the scriptures, man, all right? Let's get a couple of scriptures, all right? Let's go here. This is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. <clears throat> Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. This is what we're doing, man. We're commanded to warn our people. Years are like you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? All right? If you don't repent, if you take this digital all, all right, the M-O-T to the B, you're going to die. Let's read on. Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, like I-U-I-C is like IUIC is doing, right? 
<clears throat> All right, they're admitting it now. Hey, that's a good thing. They're, they're, they're admitting it. But at the same time, they're still going off, man. They're still going off. And that's going off. Telling all people that if they take it, they're going to they can repent. No, you can't. You can't repent from that. Okay? Ezekiel 3 and 18. What I say unto the, the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. The Lord is going to require your blood, man. All right? And, man, you guys at IUIC, man, y'all need to repent from that, man. Seriously. Because, hey, serious judgment is about to go forth. All right? And you're leading a lot of people to the slaughter, man. Okay? Leading our people to straight. Causing our people to err, man. Okay? As a matter of fact, I got to... Let me finish reading this first. All right? Verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way... He shall die his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So, hey, we're warning the wicked, man. The real men of the Lord. We're warning the wicked. Okay? All right? But our people <laughs> continue to follow IUIC, ISUPK, and all these other guys, man. Okay? Instead of following the men of Great Millstone. All right? I'm looking for a scripture. Hold on, Slocky. Uh... Hold on. Bear with me. Uh, cause our people to err. Hold on. Look that up. Lucky. Where the heck at? Right here. Here we go. This is Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed, man. Okay? These false leaders, like ISUPK, IUIC, are causing our people to err, man. Okay? And hey, look, you guys going to be visited, man, from the Lori Haibashim Yahushai. All right? You're leading our people to destruction. As a matter of fact, since I quoted this scripture, let's go on and get it. This is Jeremiah chapter 23, and verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, saith the Lord, and how about Shem Yahushai? Verse 2. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, and how about Shem Yahushai, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil do like the evil of your doings, said the Lord Yahbash Yahshah. Alright, so the Lord's gonna visit you, man. Okay? Alright. Hey, the Lord ain't really dealing with those guys, man. Alright. Let me get one more. Then I got some articles I want to show. I said it was uh I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures, but hey, you know, that's the spirit. This is Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 9. And if the prophet be deceived, when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet. All right? The Lord deceived these guys into saying that if you take the MOTB, which is the CHIP, you can repent. All right? Like he tells you, the deceived and the deceiver are his. Okay? All right? Let's read this again. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 9. And if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord in Yahweh, have deceived that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. So, yea, you false prophets, man, that are not warning the sheep properly, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? Leading our people to destruction. Telling them, oh, it's okay. And it sounds like the nigga, they admitting it that the it's the CHIP. The MOTB is the CHIP, but at the same time, they're telling our people to go on and take it, man. Just like they told our people to go on and take that uh that jab juice, man. And all right, they lost 20 of their members, okay? You got blood on your hands, man, okay? Blood on y'all goddamn hands. And the Lord y'all about to y'all shot is going to require that blood, man, okay? If you guys don't repent, okay, and teach it the right way, okay? 
uh, let's see, verse 10. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. So, hey, a lot of you Jays that's following these guys, you're going to be destroyed along with them. Okay? Verse 11. That the house of Israel may go no more astray from me, neither be polluted any more with their with all their transgressions, but they, sloggy, but that they may be my people, and I may be their power, said the Lord Yahweh Shai power. Okay? Alright, so hey. They gotta get it right, man. Seriously. Okay? Let's go here. That's not what I wanted. So another lesson. Snarky. Uh, let's go here. Because this is what's coming, man. Okay? This is what's coming. All right? This is from naturalnews.com. It says, Central Bank Digital Currencies are the bullet train to digital concentration camps. All right? And we warned you about that. All right? That, hey, they're going to be throwing people in the concentration camps, man, to try to convince our people to take this. Okay? All right, let's read a little bit of this article. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It says the White House published a comprehensive framework last week attacking decentralized cryptocurrencies while promoting a U.S. government controlled propaganda, propaganda, it's like programmable digital, central digital, it's like it, central bank digital currency, a CBC, CBDC. Okay, all right. So they about to get rid of this cryptocurrency and they're about to promote this uh digital currency, man. Okay, that's gonna be controlled by your government. Okay? So hey, we're close. All right. Agencies that were close and so like agency that was chosen to lead the ongoing working group for the research and possible development of a CBDC include the Federal Reserves, the National Economic uh, Council, the National Security Council, the uh, Office of Science and Technology Policy, and the tre and the Treasury Treasury Department. CBDCs are digital currencies, currency issued directly from a state, national, nation, state, central bank, and serve as legal tenders. Critically, CBDCs are controlled by governments and therefore represent the popular opposite of the idea. The centralization open source software permissionless peer-to-peer -peer transaction that may may Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies such as revolutionary technology. As you can guess, CBDCs will be tied to user identities and digital ID. I mean, that's also coming, and you know what that digital ID is, okay? Which will allow for total surveillance by state, by the state, and eliminates any chance of financial privacy. All right. Let's see. Where is that? I'm not gonna read all of this, man. But I'm trying to get to the part. Let me see. Got concentration camps um let's see uh slucky hold on one minute yeah let's read what this guy says it says jim rick rickard made his most important announcement today it's about the most tre treasonous act in u.s history Biden executive order one four zero six seven is communist in its purest form. The creation of the CBDC, central bank digital currency, stay awake, tune in to Rick Kurtz, tune out Biden's take care. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Hold on. Hmm. 
yeah, I'm gonna read down here. It says if your government approves a cent a CBDC, every doctor you visit, every meal you eat, every trip you take, every purchase you make, and every dollar you own will be tracked in real time by your government for the rest of your life. Not really for the rest of your life, because hey, <laughs> once they implement this and once they make make this mandatory, it's over with, okay? Central bank digital currencies are the frontier for the battle for freedom and this is a conversation that must start now because centrally controlled digital currencies are coming down the pipeline in a big way. Without global awake awareness, central bank will weaponize money against humanity and put off the greatest violation of human rights we have ever seen and citizens will cheer them on while they do it all right hey exactly okay all right so i'll put the rest of this in the description box all right let you get it all right let's see there's another one i want to show all right and this is coming also all right i'm not gonna read this it says universal basic income will be linked to your Digital ID, and y'all know what that digital ID is. It's the CHIP, all right, which is the MOT to the B, man, okay, which will be linked to your social credit score. So who's pushing for it? We all know who's pushing for it, the elites, man, okay? The elites are pushing for this, okay? All right. So let's get back to the scriptures, man, all right? So there you go, all right? We're getting closer and closer to this, man. All right. Let's get some more scriptures. All right. This is per First Peter chapter 4 and verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Okay. What's going on? All right. Those that know, as in the knowing of this truth, man. Okay. Know what the MOTB is, but you're not warning the sheep, man. All right. Like IUIC. They know what them, hey, they finally admitting it, all right? That's a good thing, but at the same time, <coughs> they telling them a lie, man, okay? That if you take this, you can repent. No, you can't repent, man, okay? So without further ado, let's continue. All right, let's go here. This is Revelations chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right, this is our hour of temptation, which is the forced implementation of the MOTB is going to try the whole world, man. Okay, all right. And we're commanded not to take this digital device. Okay, we're commanded not to take this. If we do, hey, you're going to be put to death. Okay. Verse 11, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So hold fast to this truth. Hold fast to this knowledge. All right, like it tells you, Snarky. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times, man. Okay? All right? And we're going to refuse this digital device when it comes upon us, man. When these devils try to come and force it upon us. We're going to refuse this. Even if it means being thrown into... Uh, concentration camp and FEMA camp. Okay? Alright? This is Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Esau eat them. Alright? He's going to cast some of us into these FEMA and concentration camps. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And this is what we're saying. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcome it shall not be heard of the second death. All right? And only the elect is going to overcome. Okay? All right? Let's get this. This is Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. Okay? So this devil is going to try to deceive everyone into taking this, all right? But like it says, if it were possible, they can shall receive the very elect. You're not going to deceive the elect. 
Like it tells you in 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, they Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay? Verse 17. And that no man might by ourselves save he that hath the mark of the name of the beast of the number of his name. His wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Six six six. Okay? Alright. So hey, let's get the punishment for taking this device. Right? Because IUIC says that if you take this, you're not gonna you're not gonna die. You can repent. No, that's not true. Let's read this. Revelation chapter 14, verses 9 and 10. All right. <clears throat> and actually, I might read down to verse 12. Okay. Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worships the beast and his image and receive his mark, which is that CHIP, all right, in his forehead or in his hand, Verse 10, the saints shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High Yahweh, which is poured out without mission into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You're going to be left here to burn by ICBM nuclear missiles and laser being fired from the chariots. That's the punishment for taking this M-A-R-K, the C-H-I-P. The M to the O to the T to the B. Okay? Death. Not repentance. Come on, man. The scripture makes it plain and clear. If you guys don't repent from that, then you're going to be destroyed. Okay? Verse 11. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they had no rest day nor night who worshiped the beast and his image and whosoever received his... Receive the mark of his name. Okay. Verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Alright. The saints of the Israelites, man. The elect. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai. So this is a commandment not to take this digital device. Okay. That's a commandment. We're commanded not to take this. And if you hey. If you take this, then what that tells you? One, you had no faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. And two, you made Esau Edom your God, man. Okay? And you're going to be put to death if you take this. And let's get some more scriptures to substantiate that, man. Okay? This is Revelation chapter 16. And let's see. I'm going to start at verse 1. Revelation 16 verse 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vows of the wrath of Yahweh upon the earth. Verse 2. And the first went out and poured out his vow upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men who had the mark of the beast or the, upon them which worshipped his image. Did you hear that? The men who had risk took. Alright, the men and women basically, and children basically, who received the M-A-R-K. Okay? The M-O-T to the B. Does that sound like you can repent? No, it doesn't. That don't sound like repentance to me. <coughs> Come on, man. Oh boy. You guys better repent, man. I U I C. You guys better repent, man. Because, hey, the Lord says this. Let's get another scripture. Uh, let's think it's... Yeah, right here. Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 10. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord, Yahweh, deceitfully, teaching our people lies, telling our people they can repent, okay, if they take the MOTB. And cursed be he that keep keepeth back his sword from blood, man. Okay? So you telling our people that they can take if they take this, they can repent. You're lying, man. Okay? And that is worthy of death, man. Okay? Let's get another one. Revelations 21 and verse. I'm gonna read verse 8. 
Get straight to the point. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their portion. Snock you. Shall have their portion. Their part, snock. They shall have their part in the lake which burn, burneth with fire and brimstone. Which is the second death, man. Okay. This is the second death. Okay. All right. This is the second death, man. All right. If you take the MOTB, that's the second death, man. You're going to be left here to burn in America, Babylon the Great, which is going to become a huge lake of fire. Okay. Telling our people they can repent if they receive the MOTB. That's a lie. Okay. And you guys going to be destroyed for that if you don't repent. All right. Hey, at least you teach it. That the MOTB is what the elders and the apostles been saying. But at the same time, you're still going off. Okay? Alright? So, let's see. Anything else I got? Mm, no, that's per I'm going to leave it there, man. Alright? Alright, I'm going to leave it right there. Alright? So, Lord willing, I pray this quick lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go to you. How about Shemiel Shai? By Shemra Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations go to the whole for the that scattered abroad. See you with another lesson soon, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharang, Shang Wam, Wa Ba Ba Ba, about Wam DTA, Ba Ba Ba. Boom! Shang Wam to the next time, brothers and sisters. Shang Wam.